Hey, it's Brian and Sean with 2A Guys in Gear, and today we've got our hands on a Mantis X. It's a uh, brand new uh, firearms training device that attaches to the uh, bottom of your gun. Pistol yeah. or rifle, it's kind of yep. neat. So, Sean, you got this when you were at the uh, SHOT Show, right? Yeah, I picked it up at the SHOT Show. Um, I was standing there watching the guys, uh, you know, shooting at the screen, and um, I ended up talking with them, and found out it's actually a device that attaches to any Picatinny rail. You can install it on uh, a rifle or a um, pistol. And it basically shows you your, where your shot placement mm -hmm. is. Your, it helps you with the trigger control. Right. It, it records all that for every shot. You can, um, you can do it live fire, mm -hmm. dry fire, or with uh, everybody was using at the SHOT Show with the, the CO2 blowback. Right, airsoft. Right. right, yeah, and um, and that's when I first used it, and I, I was impressed. Yeah. So, we haven't really trained with it yet. Um, this is going to be our first time out with it, and we'll we'll do a rundown on it and, and tell you the ins and outs on it, and then at, over time we'll do a couple follow up videos and see if you know as we use it, do we improve? Right, absolutely. That's yeah. what I'm looking forward to with it. Exactly. I admit I'm not much of a pistol shooter. And uh, the little bit of time we spent with it today, it did show me some of my problems. I know I had uh, too much trigger finger and breaking my wrists. Right. So and those were two of the things that it pointed out to me, which is good. Now I know how to improve or what I need to do to improve. Right. So it's definitely a cool, cool uh, device. The, the thing I like about it the most is you can, um, it, it'll, you can use it with your cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I got it on an iPad. Um, but you don't have, you know, you can go to the range with just your cell phone, right? And, and train with it, and you don't have to worry about lugging around a laptop right, or any of that exactly. other crazy stuff. Uh, and it's just, it's nice. It, it'll work on the Androids yep. and the uh, uh, iOS platform, the iPhones. So um, you know, that's a plus. It uh, it comes with this uh, cool little Pelican case for you to store it in, uh, so it won't get beat up, and. Um, yeah, so far it's uh it's been pretty cool. It has a list when you choose your you know on the settings you choose what you're mounted to what firearm. Right. Um, you know I have it on a Ruger P95 and it came right up and yeah, it right. programmed it in. Uh, it, it asks you if you're left or right hand shooter if you have it mounted on the top or bottom. Um, it, it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool and it's uh it's pretty it's I thought it was real accurate. Yeah, as as how you're Absolutely. how you're handling it. Um, it also uh, it, rec it will record it and save it in your history. Oh, it which, does? Yeah, which is nice. That is cool. Uh, and you can have multiple different shooters on it. Okay. And um, to me, the best part about this whole thing is the price point. What is it? It is right around 150 That's not bad. No, because most of the other training, any kind right. of digital or electrical training devices you're getting, um, you know, they're extremely up to five hundred yeah. to a thousand dollars. Especially if um, you can use it with an airsoft, and you can do it in your living room. Right. You know, so yep. that's that's ideal. That's uh, it makes it real nice, and right. and you can also take it to the range with you. Yeah, right. You know, or dry fire. Um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, shooting and uh, and uh, show you how it works. Alrighty. All right. So basically, you pull it up. It's got a picture of a target, and you hit start. Ready. Ready. All right, you got a score of 79, and it says you're pushing forward too much. All right. And you're breaking wrist down. Uh, too little finger. Breaking wrist down with a score of 67. Oh, it said great shot. Thank you. 97. Up, back down to 76. <laughs> Slap and trigger. You got it? Yep, go ahead. Tighten fingers. Those are 89, still pretty decent score. Two little finger. That was a 66. Tighten grip. Slapping the trigger. That was a good eight, 87. Uh, healing and anticipating recoil. I could feel that too. I knew I did that. 
That was a good, that was a 93. 92. 90, see now all your scores are starting to get consistent. Yep. Yeah, that one shot that I, uh, I knew I failed on, or I was healing and anticipating the recoil, I could right. feel as soon as I shot, and I was curious to see what you were gonna say. So that's, uh, that's interesting. That's really cool. So, yeah, and it even shows you, you know, by, by where the shot placement was. Right, that's that's so, really neat. And I could feel it as I was, as you were calling out my problems, I was trying to correct it. Right. And it did feel like towards the end of the magazine, I, I got a little bit better with right. it. Right, well so. you got three, right. uh, you know, three scores in a row within a, within three points of each other. Yeah. So it's getting consistent. Yeah, definitely cool. So, uh, well, let's load up a mag and yeah, then- let me uh, give it a shot. You give it a whirl. All right, now I'm gonna give it a try and uh, see what kind of scores I can do. That was 60, tightening grip. 79, tightening grip. 52, breaking wrist down and pushing forward. That was the same. 85, healing and anticipating recoil. 73, tightening fingers. 92, too much trigger finger, thumbing. 99, great shot. 68, slapping trigger. 95, too little trigger finger. 89, breaking wrist down. 88, breaking wrist up. I did felt that too when it went up. 60, healing and anticipating recoil. Hmm. Well, I started to get better there for a second. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's really cool. I yeah, think it's, it is. It's awesome. So it's um, it, being able to get that instant feedback on what you're doing and knowing that it's right. It's not somebody guessing, saying, "Well, maybe try this or maybe try that." I mean, it's telling you exactly what you're doing wrong. Right. So. Yep. And then, and then there's there's a ton of other videos too where you could go on and watch and, and watch the proper you know right. techniques of holding it and yeah. all that and then come do it yeah and then compare it to you know what what, you, what the score is exactly and i think the big thing for me and what i'm going to do is use this a lot on airsoft right because it's cheap you right. know and i use it on airsoft and then come out here and start burning up the ammo you know once i get a little bit right. better or even it. dry fire yeah so you're right. used to your pistol exactly unless you have uh you know the, the exact decent, replica, right. yeah, yeah. That's that's a good point. So yeah, this is a cool product, man. I like it. So yeah, so do I. And uh, we're gonna do some, uh, you know, follow up video yep. and uh, and uh, you know, let you know how know we improve or got worse. <laughs> <laughs> one of the two. Right. Well, but cool. yeah, I, I thought it was a really cool product. It was one of the the, the coolest products I saw at Shot yeah, Show this year. For so sure. I'm really glad uh, we got a got a hold of one. Absolutely. But, yep. All right, well, you guys can uh, check us out at 2aguysandgear.com, and then, of course, we're on Instagram at 2aguysandgear. And uh, if you like our videos, please subscribe. See you.